Hello there, welcome back to the new video. Today we'll be talking about this very interesting UI application, EasyGPT. So with this, you can essentially fine tune your GPT-3 models on your custom data without writing a single line of code. So let's see a quick demo to how you can do it. So you head on to easygpt.io, create an account, and this will be the first screen that you'll see. The first thing you have to enter is your API key. So you can head out to API key section of the OpenAI website and this will be the page that you'll see if you are properly logged in. Create a new secret key, copy it, and you should be good to go. I'll just delete it because I don't need it right now. Cool. So I'll just copy my key, do a start, and yeah. So my keys are entered. Now the next thing is, what is the data that I'm looking out for on which I should be fine tuning my model? So you head on to file section, click on create, and here you get the option of uploading a CSV. So in case you don't know what's the format of sending the data to GPT for fine tuning, this is how it looks like. So this is a JSON-L format, which means every line of this file is JSON in itself. So you start off with prompt key, where you write your prompt text, then some kind of a suffix, which is trigger text, which helps the model to take a hint like, okay, from here on, I need to start generating something. Then you have the completion key, which is the objective against which the model will be fine-tuned. So that is nothing but a space bar followed by the text that you want to generate against this prompt text. And then some stopping sequence for helping out the model to say, okay, if this is hit, I want it to stop generating from here on. So now every line is a unique example and you can have n number of examples as you would like. So today for this video, we'll work on a data set which is from text to emoji mapping. And this is how it looks like. Yeah, so we have text and then we have a relevant mapped emoji. This is a CSV file. And I think it has close to four to five different emojis or expressions. For example, if you see your stupidity has no limit. So if you are writing this message to someone, then this might be one of the emojis that you might want to send. Or if it's like, I am hungry, then emoji that depicts the same emotion. So let me go ahead and add and header section to this file. The first is, let's say, text, and the second is emoji. So text is our input, and emoji is what we want to predict. So if you map the same thing over here, then the prompt text is nothing but the text column of that file, and emoji column of that file is nothing but ideal text generated variable. So let's upload it. Cool, so now it has detected like there were two columns, one was text and second was emoji. So it's asking you to map either text or emoji to the predefined key prompt. So yeah, this is the input that we want to give and the output is completion. So yeah, that mapping is done now. Now we upload it and we should see the data mapped in the similar format. So yeah, now prompt is what? Never talk to me again. And the completion is nothing but a sad emoji. So if it's like miss you so much and completion would be like giving a red heart. So there are a couple of written rules. If you follow, the chances of you getting text or having a better fine-tuned model gets better. So which is like, you should be adding a suffix, which is a trigger text. So we can directly on a single click add this option. You can choose any type of suffix. By default, it gives you three hashtags, which again is one of the things that's recommended. Then again, I can choose to add space before the completion. So this again is a good practice to have and a stop sequence so that I don't over generate something. So now with this, again, my output of the file is transformed. So prompt, then you have the same text, then it has added that prefix. Now with the completion, you are seeing a space bar followed by the actual text that it will predict followed by the end token. So with this, we have all our 200 examples loaded in this way. So now this is uploaded onto EasyGPT, this website. Now we want to upload the same to OpenAI because that is where the, essentially the fine tuning will happen. So if I mark it as, let's say, emoji prediction and upload it to OpenAI. It says your file has been uploaded to OpenAI. Now I can head on to fine tune section, then create. Now I want to create a job and give it some name. So I'll do emoji prediction run one. So let's say this is the name that I would give to my run. And this is how I will refer my model with when I reference it again. Now, since the data was uploaded, I choose the same over here. And let's say I choose DaVinci as my base model that I want to fine tune. And I keep rest of the parameters as default, where the epox is four, batch size one, learning rate multiplier 0.1, which essentially decides how you want to decay. And again, prompt loss rate is 0.01. I create 
Then I click on this create fine tune and launch the job. So it says your fine tune job has been created. Cool, so I do a refresh again. I can head out to table. I can see this is my job ID. I created it right now against this training file and the status is pending right now. I head on to details. Again, do a refresh. And from here I can select my run. Okay, so I forgot what it was. It's ending with P9RD. So I'll just choose that one, P9RD, it says pending. So the cost is $0.25. It has created the job and it's in queue and the queue number is zero, which means it can start anytime. And here you can see all the relevant choices that we had made, the training file, and eventually when the results come, they'll populate this section. So I'll again do a control R maybe. Okay, so it's taking a bit time. So let's wait for some more time. So yeah, finally the training has finished. So these were the logs that got generated. It was telling us about the fine tuning cost. Then it said it started then all the four epochs because we essentially selected four epochs for our fine tuning purposes. Then it said like your model is uploaded and the results are uploaded here and fine tuning has succeeded. Okay. And now as I discussed earlier, the results section is now populated with with compiled results.csv that contains all the results and it says the status as processed. Now let's head on to playground and select our model from the model dropdown. So this is the fine tunes section that contains our model, which is emoji pred run one. And the end sequence that we gave was end. We add it. Now let's give any sentence. Uh, let's say I will be motivated if you click the subscribe button <laughs> and then I had like trigger text which was three hashtags and let's do a submit <laughs> okay so now the emoji that it predicts clearly depicts the emotion of the written text so if I let's tweak it to say I'll be sad if you don't like this video so I should be seeing a sad emoji ideally yeah so that's pretty true so Right now, just click on that like button and make me happy. <laughs> okay, cool. So I think you got the idea to test the fine tune model as well by loading it on playground. And let's see if there's anything else to cool. So I think that is it. Do you go to details? So from here, you can download your compiled results or JSON L, which is the data that you uploaded. So let's see what compiled results also contain. I do a CSV download for this and let's open it. So yeah, here you can see all the details like training loss, number of examples that it had gone through at every example, what was the loss that it triggered, the training token accuracy and all of it. And we can see a trend of loss going down from 2.3 to somewhere that's 0 0.01, 0 0.01 again. Yeah, so that's the minimum, I guess. Okay, so we go further down, which is 0, 0.00 something. So yeah, clearly the training has happened correctly or at least it looks like because we are seeing the results for confirmation or for benchmarking you should be having a train val and test splits to test how good the model is so with this i wrap up this video i'll meet you in the next one make sure to hit the like and subscribe button bye bye and take care